everybody happy sunday and happy april happy second quarter of 2023 it is exciting can you believe the first quarter is over with already but welcome everybody to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today i greatly appreciate it and welcome to all those who are new to the channel today's topic is sewing buzz what's going on in the sewing community that different type of thing so for those who are new to the channel, I typically do this video on the first Sunday of every month. I have not done it the past three months because it was all about BHM pattern designers, sewing challenge, the live event, all of that good stuff. So now that that is over i can jump back into the sewing buzz and typically with the sewing buzz what i usually talk about are new pattern releases indie patterns only not commercial but indie patterns and then i also talk about maybe if there's a new technique coming um new sewing technique new sewing tool or anything like that um sewing related content diy content all of that um i would share during the sewing buzz the monthly video so um maybe favorite tool or something that i was using in the previous month it is it varies from month to month right and so um now that i'm kind of getting back into the swing of things i'm just going to ease back in to the sewing buzz also what i usually do is have a um snd sewing chat so um at the end of the video there's usually or in the past i would have had an interview a little short chat nothing uh technical just easy breezy um chat with someone in the sewing uh community diy crafting community and so um i think i have decided pretty much i will do those randomly instead of dedicating every month to doing the snd sewing chat and the reason for that is because the rest of 2023 for me is going to be quite busy there's a quite a bit going on behind the scenes different things that i'm working on and so i know that i don't want to promise a new snd sewing chat every month when i know i probably do not have the time or the bandwidth to reach out coordinate and do all of that uh, with someone so those will come periodically um, when I do a, a sewing buzz I may have a SND sewing chat at the end you'll know you'll find out just stay tuned so if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell because I do share pattern releases pattern hauls fabric hauls all of that good stuff actually the dress that's hanging here you will see that video coming up on Wednesday so it is a new pattern release that I'll talk about today that technically didn't come out in April. It came, I mean, in March. It came out in April. So when I do the sewing buzz, it's a wrap up of all of the new sewing patterns that have been released in the previous month so you're saying this april right so i would normally talk about all of the patterns that have been released in march that i was drawn to so i'm not bringing you every single pattern under the sun from every indie pattern company that has been released and bring it to you here on the channel i choose to only bring to you those patterns that i thought would be interesting to you um to my subscribers but also that i found interesting so let's go ahead and jump into it so let me start out with first what i am wearing i am wearing the love notions tempo dress and um i did a review a, a, a separate review and everything for this particular dress i'll leave a link to it um up here in the i card so i'll leave a link to that in the i cards uh but also for those who did not know i announced this maybe late 2022 i am a brand ambassador now for love notions patterns and so which i'm quite excited about so new different patterns and different things that um come up or come out um i'll see and be able to test um periodically and different things of that nature so very excited about that the one thing that if you did not notice every friday i said on fridays i will upload shorts those will be the days that i will upload a short and so on friday 
um, and I can also do a post. I haven't been doing a post, but I can do the post on YouTube as well. It's just mainly been um, short, but every Friday. So, you know, Love Notions release their uh, $5 pattern every Friday. And so what I've been doing the past few weeks um, is on Fridays, I would do a short and I would do a story over on Instagram. So follow me over on Instagram as well, um, showing you what the $5 pattern is for um, that particular day, that Friday. And so make sure you're following here on um, So Natural Day here and on Instagram because you can save an additional 10% off even of the sale price. So um, the code right now, cause the code changes um, on a quarterly basis. So now that it's now a new quarter, the new code is so natural Dane two. And so I'll put that on the screen. So um, now when you go check out whether the pattern, you catch it on sale, um, a $5 uh, feature Friday pattern or another pattern that you might like, maybe it's this dress, the temple dress. And I do have a playlist as well for all Love Notion patterns that I have sewn. I'll put that in the iCard as well. But um, you can um, go ahead and shop on Love Notions. Use my code, um, so natural Dane too, uh, as a brand ambassador. And so, and I do get an affiliate payment for that. So if you choose to support, it helps the channel. And and everything like that as well so go ahead and shop love notions and use the code so natural dane too so you can get an additional 10 percent off so i want to make sure that um you knew about that and then also in the sewing buzz the last sewing buzz i did and i know you all liked it was the um the ready to wear looks that i i picked a few of the patterns and then paired ready to wear looks with those uh particular patterns um just to give you some ideas different you know think outside the box for different thing um different looks that you might see um so i'm not going to do that today in today's video because i'm actually excited to do a um trends video the spring and summer trends i actually there was a, a sewing fashionistas meetup group two months ago and Roz has shared some um some of that and i thought that would be so fun to bring to the channel just to share with you a few things that we went over in that particular meeting and um so that video will come up uh, it should be if it's not next week Sunday stay tuned if it's not next week Sunday because um, it will be next week Wednesday because there is a special announcement I was supposed to have up last week but I had to uh, switch around some dates and coordinate times with the uh, person that I will be um uh, doing the special announcement with so you have to see what that is not to be cheeky but um the plan is that we will go live on instagram crossing fingers this week and then um i might do a more dedicated video um next week sunday so either next week sunday will be about that special announcement or it will be about the spring trends now with the spring and summer trends i will have both indie as well as uh the big four big five now commercial patterns um so just to give you some ideas and um talk a little bit through those trends and different stuff like that so yes stay tuned plus i have i'm doing some um vacation planning wardrobe planning and so um i'm going to do uh i'll share I'll share more about that. I'm not going to even get into it, but that video will be coming up. Um, fabric and everything will be coming up here on the channel also this month. Um, so yeah, quite excited. Lot, lot of things buzzing, at least over here for so natural day. I have to admit, I didn't do a lot of perusing around for sewing challenges and different things that are going on. Um, cause I'm just, get my feet back wet with the sewing buzz is it's, it's a lot going on right um and then of course you all saw my uh vogue um patterns is my pattern in focus for this quarter april may and june and so if you missed the video where i selected the pattern based on your vote thank you subscribers for voting based on your vote which pattern that i um out of vogue that i will focus on i'm still going to sew indie patterns and different things like that but there's a focus 
focus in particular this quarter on commercial patterns. So my patterns in focus will all be commercial patterns, okay? So if you missed that video, I'll pop it up in the iCard up here, but go check that out so you can see what pattern I picked, um, what pattern was picked for me to do, as well as the fabric that I picked. So, so excited, so excited. So, that is pretty much what's going on. And I'm doing some tackling techniques. I'm using the same pattern company for that. So go watch that video if you missed it. So yeah, lots coming up. Special announcement video. The um, spring and summer trends with some pattern suggestions. And then some vacation wardrobe planning um, with, pattern and, with the pattern and fabric selected. So yes, all of that's coming up. So make sure that you stay tuned. What is also happening? So I'm just going to go over the patterns that were released that caught my eye from the month of March. Again, this is not all inclusive. I will leave a link in the description box down below um, to these different patterns. Now there may be affiliate links. There's actually, uh, you'll see the affiliate link for love notions down below with the code for the extra 10% off. But then there's, um, I think it's just itch to stitch patterns will be the other affiliate link that you'll see down below. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to start with itch to stitch patterns because if you are on the newsletter list and um, or you're following um, them over on uh, social media, you know that she has released a new pattern. Technically, April 1st it came out, but I'm still sharing it today because you get a uh, it's on sale. You get a great sale price on it. And so you'll be able to take advantage of the sale. Again, I'll leave the affiliate link down in the description box down below. But it is the um, Tustin dress. And here's mine right here. I was a pattern tested for it. You will see a full review, all the details about my dress and everything um, on Wednesday. So make sure you stay tuned for Wednesday. And mine will be my dress for Easter Resurrection Sunday. So, and I think this is a perfect pattern for it. And so let me tell you a little bit about the Tustin real quick. Again, I won't go overly in details about it because I will go um, have a full review on it um come uh Wednesday so it is a knit pattern I'll pop up the line drawing and the picture here the release picture it is a knit pattern um which is awesome so you know this you pretty much can sew the whole thing up on your serger <laughs> for the most part um there is the option for regular and full bust I did do the full bust but again I'll go into that on Wednesday um I also did the short sleeve version um the waist tie is what I absolutely love about this and the construction of it is so easy so so easy not complicated at all uh, but it, it the uh waist tie you can barely see it here but it comes out from the front piece so the front pattern piece um includes the waist tie and then you also have uh the uh tie for the back so there's the tie coming out the front and then in the back absolutely beautiful um, and so, yeah, make sure that you go ahead and click the link if you like this, cause it's absolutely beautiful. I won't go into more detail about my version, um, of it. You'll see that on Wednesday, but you can get 20% off of this until April 7th. So just want to make sure that I drop that in there that you can get, um, 15, 20% uh, off of the pattern, um, now until April 7th. So make sure you go shop that. You'll see the link for it down in the uh, description box. The other pattern that was technically released by Itch to Stitch in March was the uh, Zacopane top. Um, again, this is a top with also a twist feature in the front. I think this, the line drawing on this is absolutely beautiful. Another nicely fitted top. Um, again, this is a uh, knit. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, you have that nice, twist in the front and i believe in my opinion it is very nice for our full bust because you can get a nice fit and a nice drape of the top um up in in the front and so and then it, it does have the different uh sleeve options um as well so 
again and that this the the zacco paint is made for lightweight uh knit fabrics um as well so yes those are the two pattern releases that i want to talk about from itch to stitch patterns um the next pattern i want to talk about is from ellie and mac uh it is a a very nice very cute um wrap dress pattern and what i liked about it is that it has dome and sleeves so you don't have to worry about setting in any sleeves for this particular pattern and you do have the option to do short sleeve or long bishop sleeve and the sizing is also size inclusive inclusive so is itch to stitch very size inclusive pattern um the uh elia mac um what is it pronounced marike maybe I might be pronouncing that wrong dress comes starts uh at an extra extra small and goes up to a 6xl and i thought this was absolute just nice and simple what i like about it is that it has the dome and sleeves and you don't have to worry about setting in any sleeves so yes that is a good one to pick up and again you have different um length options you have the midi the knee length and so yeah very nice dress pattern now this one wardrobe by me hadn't come out with a pattern in quite some time that i had noticed uh for women um it was a couple women patterns that did come out last year but um this one i thought was so pretty this is the aurora captain dress um which can also be made in the top that's what i liked about it and it is a loose fitting is described as a loose fitting flowing flowy silhouette and, and then you have that um, ruffled hem um, on the bottom that I thought add some interest to it. But looking at the style lines, again, <clears throat> I just thought this dress was beautiful. I thought, the, and obviously this is for woven, but a nice chally, uh, some, a visco, something like that nice drapey fabric would look absolutely beautiful in this. I think actually, uh, a linen blend not a full-on linen 100% linen but a viscose linen blend will also look beautiful plus is getting into the spring summer uh, will make it very breathable right and so I thought this dress was absolutely beautiful um, and then we have the uh, green style creations Veltori top now the reason I pulled this it's a nice workout top um, I would totally do short sleeve <laughs> <laughs> on something like this if I were to make it um and I thought again I'm gonna pop up the style lines for this so many options for um color blocking that's one of the things I do like about green style creations when they come out with their different patterns they do put I know it's more pattern pieces yes we know that but the options for color blocking and playing with it um is just endless and I thought this here was very nice is it it's described as a quarter zip raglan sleeve slim fit athletic top and so it says it's perfect for you know uh running golfing different things of that nature um but short sleeve is the way that i would go and with that zipper front i think it would be nice for walk for me i would envision walking in this um early mornings you know how sometimes the mornings can still be just a little bit cool even here in texas just enough not cool like 50 degrees cool but you know cooler 60 70 sometimes you know something like that early in the morning depending on how early you get up and then you throw on something like this I believe this is so nice in that you can really play with the different color block options as well nice scrap buster if you have some scraps that you can um pull off with this to create a different type of look um for you personally i said go for it um then we have the last two um is the sew over it frankie jacket now i like this it is lined what i know about and why why i picked this um is for two reasons another it is size inclusive all of the patterns i'm sharing with you are size inclusive patterns so make sure you click on the link so you can see the sizing um because this one goes up to a size 30 but i know from sewing so over it patterns her instructions are really good and if you are looking for a line jacket and this is definitely a nice spring jacket um, that you can wear but um even in the summertime if you go especially if you go 
in somewhere like an event or movies restaurant something like that and it's cooler this would be a nice jacket to have on but i like that it's lined and i would i trust her instructions that um and i believe there might be a sew along now i know she uh, has been doing sew alongs for a lot of her patterns that she's been releasing so check the sew over at youtube channel you might see a sew along on that um but one of the features that she did say um because it is a boxy type jacket she uh mentions in the description that they've included cutaway darts at the waist to bring it in from the bus point so you you're not just straight up and down boxy if you have uh bus darts i mean i'm sorry waist darts um then that's bringing that in and it doesn't look so boxy straight up and down especially for those of us that's a little bit more full bust and you don't need you already fuller up here and you don't need fullness all the way down i do like that um and it also says it features both versions because there are two uh versions uh for this that the collar is constructed with a partial collar stand to make it sit just right is what the description says. So I thought that that was brilliant. And it, there is a bus start, if I did mention that before, um, to allow for shaping as well. So another nice jacket that you can um, definitely add to your collection. And then the final uh, pattern that I have for you is, or oh wait, that might've been it. Oh yeah, that's right. It was only five that I chose. I remember out of the, the list that those were the ones. So that is it for today everybody again a little bit more abbreviated not as long as typically um some other sewing buzz i'll leave the playlist i'll have the playlist pop up at the end of this video and you can see click on the playlist if you want to go back and just kind of see how some of the other sewing buzzes normally are formatted um but yeah a little bit uh, more abbreviated today but i just want to tell you what's coming up in the month of april again make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss all of these videos because i have quite a few fun videos coming up as i've already talked about so yeah if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below it takes me a little extra couple days to get to the comments but i should be pretty much caught up until my most recent video if you missed that it was the vogue dress uh video so make sure you go check out that video and yeah all right everybody that is it you all have a fantastic fantastic start to your week and we will see you on wednesday bye